Hey, welcome back everyone. You've been searching high and low for a comprehensive guide on how to get rid of ear infection, haven't you? Well, your search ends here. Today, we'll demystify this annoying problem and give you some practical solutions. But before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, and drop a comment below. Your support keeps us going. Now, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Let's start by understanding what an ear infection is. It's like a tiny battle inside your ear, where viruses or bacteria are the invaders and your body is the defender. You wouldn't even realize it, but these tiny little organisms can throw a massive party in your ear, leading to inflammation, pain, and sometimes even temporary hearing loss. Nasty, right? In 2018, a study from the Journal of Clinical Microbiology showed how these organisms can be responsible for different types of ear infections. But don't fret, because even though they're small, they're not invincible. Now, how do you evict these party crashes from your ear? First, remember that if your symptoms are severe or persist for more than a few days, you should definitely check in with your doctor. But if it's a mild ear infection, there are home remedies to help soothe the pain. In 2013, the American Academy of Pediatrics backed the idea of using warm compresses, for example. Just take a clean washcloth, soak it in warm water, wring it out, and gently press it against the affected ear for about 15 minutes. This can help reduce pain and inflammation. Garlic, believe it or not, is a powerhouse of natural antibiotics and pain-relieving properties. Now, we're not saying you should stuff a clove of garlic in your ear. But a study from the Journal of Herbal Medicine in 2014 suggested that garlic oil might help reduce pain and infection. Here's how you can use it. Warm a small amount of garlic oil slightly. Use a dropper to put a couple of drops into the affected ear. Lie down with the treated ear facing upwards for about 10 minutes to let that oil work its magic. Our good old friend, water, can also lend a helping hand. Staying hydrated can keep your mucous membranes moist, which may help your eustachian tubes function better. And, you guessed it, these tubes are connected to the middle ear. The main site of ear infections. So, make sure to sip on water throughout the day. Ever thought that sweet, sticky honey could help with an ear infection? Well, it can. Honey has natural antimicrobial properties that can help fight off those nasty bacteria causing the infection. A 2018 study in the Journal of Microbiology, Immunology, and Infection showcased the antibacterial power of honey. Now, you don't just pour honey into your ear, okay? Here's the safe way to do it. Mix one teaspoon of honey with one tablespoon of warm water until it's fully dissolved. Using a dropper, put a couple of drops of this solution into the affected ear. Lay down with the treated ear facing up for 10 to 15 minutes. There are also over-the-counter ear drops that can help. A 2015 study in the British Journal of General Practice found that these drops can reduce symptoms and speed up recovery. Just remember to follow the instructions on the bottle closely. Sometimes, an ear infection may need a doctor's attention. According to the Mayo Clinic, if home remedies or over-the-counter solutions don't work within a few days, or if the infection is severe, you should reach out to a healthcare professional. They might prescribe antibiotics, or in rare cases, recommend a minor procedure. So, now you've got the scoop on how to get rid of ear infection. It's a simple mix of knowledge, home remedies, and knowing when to call the doctor. Just remember, each person is different, and what works for one may not work for another. Before you go, remember to hit that like button if you found this helpful and share this video to spread the knowledge. And hey, if you've tried any of these remedies before, why not leave a comment? Your experience could help someone else. Until next time, stay healthy and keep your ears happy.